MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen. And we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Charlie Morton will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. What's your take on him, Dan? Boy, Charlie Morton has really made a name for himself. Big arm and a big fastball. Good sinking fastball, too. 95 to 98 miles an hour. Big overhand curveball. He's very valuable, too. He's had a lot of success pitching out of the bullpen and also one of the top starting pitchers in the league right now. First offering on its way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Now a strike called in the upper part of the zone. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. Two and two. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there, and even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. The 2-2. Two -two. Brett Gardner is on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Meadows has it, and there's one away. The center field is the level. Right. Gordon. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The bouncer to the left side. He's right there. Throw on the first to get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that will bring up Glaber Torres. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, 
you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. Takes this the other way to right. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. The 1-1. One, one. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Torres is off of first with two away. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. One left for the Yankees. The Yankees nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. James Paxton gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. Dan, any thoughts? Boy, there's lots to like about this lefty James Paxton. Big arm from the left side. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit. The only thing, he throws about four or five miles harder than Pettit. Paxton occasionally, 97 to 98 miles an hour. Good hard overhand curveball. His changeup is getting better the more he uses it. This is one of the game's premier left-handed strikeout pitchers. Brandon Lau is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, and one. Here it comes. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Lau. Originally from the state of Virginia, he was selected in the third round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. They'll try again, one-two. Change up and that fades down and away two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting second. The left fielder. Off there. No. Stepping in, Austin Meadows. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Two balls and no strikes to the Rays' left fielder. The 2-0 on the way. He is swung on, missed in that strike one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. 
not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. You know, it takes a lot that of discipline hurt. to watch a pitch the like that go play. by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being yeah. a, a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the stretch. In there, strike one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Prior to the 0-1, here's a look to first. And he'll dive back in safely. Oh, one pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him. And with two away now, Got let's give cool. you a look at the big picture the here. Big there you pitch. see the participants he in this year's goal. playoffs. Now in the box, G-Man Choi. Paxton comes set. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to Vort takes care of him, and the inning is over. Ray's strand just the one. Still no score. Set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt. And the pitch. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Fastball just missed above the zone. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. The two and one on its way. I got three one. Three balls, one That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No score here as we play inning number two. Nope, Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Hey. It's one and two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. The one, two. Misses for the second ball. It's 
still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2 2 one more time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Kiermeyer. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. That is seven. The left field. Giancarlo. Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now in prior outings against Charlie Morton. He's a 346 batter. He's taken him deep once. Here comes the first pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Back up the middle. Oh, what a stop on the slide. What an outstanding play to end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Oh, one pitch on its way. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. That is good. So the bases That's are empty with hitter. one man gone. Okay. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose okay. Martinez. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike. Paxton, also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots. He was a fourth-round selection back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Hey, when you come out in the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. A ball and two strikes now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. And that's going to be high two and two now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks in bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. So coming to the plate, Willie Adamas. First pitch coming, here it is. Sliced hard on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base. d -Row. first baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. Line drive to left. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. 
Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. So here's Mike Zanino. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Gone! It's a grand slam. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. His first homer so far in the series as they move on top four to nothing. How about that? That's a way to unclog the bags. One swing and a grand slam bomb, and it gives him the lead. Into the box now, Brandon Lau. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. This is a situation where you almost have to play mind tricks on yourself if you're out there on the mound. Four runs have come across already this inning, but now the bases are empty. He's not in danger anymore, so he's just got to tell himself he's doing fine and he just needs to get this inning over with. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Three and oh now. He couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Four runs here in this half inning. And this will be fouled away. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball, and what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. In now, Austin Meadows. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Paxton has his sign coming at him with the 0 and 1. Whoa, right and low, it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1 and 2. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. But one more look here at the big blow for the Rays. A grand slam home run. We've played two. It's now 4-0 Tampa Bay. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Ball one to start the at-bat.
And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time. And it's 2-0 and now. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game perhaps. It's 2-1. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Renfro moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. That is not the white field number 99. Aaron. So stepping in, Aaron Judge. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's out. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Outside, 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Here it is, the 3 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Hits this one hard the other way. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. Now that second base DJ LeMahieu. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Now a flare out toward right center. Kiermeyer coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Scooped up to second for one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Digging in, Labor Torres. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Here comes the first pitch. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one.
One and two now as that one's fouled off. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. He's set and the 2-2 pitch. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. The 3-2 pitch. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So our situation has the bases loaded. Two men out. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. First offering on its way. The 1 0 home. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. From the stretch. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. misses so it'll set up a big pitch coming up it's full three and two for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this ab hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment and it's fouled away Next 3-2. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down and the inning will continue. The runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 4-2 game. Not bad. No point, d -Row. Talk about so close but yet so Ooh. far. One strike from getting out of this inning but a big two-run base hit right there. Yeah, that batter was able to control his emotions. Not a guy who fears going deep in the count right there and he was able to come through. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. Yep. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Two one pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. The 2-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Rays are in front, 4-2.
bottom of the third now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Yandy Diaz. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. The count now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, G-Man Choi. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Two mid 90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. He's really on a roll now right back. now on the mound. Back-to-back right -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. Right. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fastball in there for a called strike. Paxton peers in. 0 1 pitch on its way. Nope. And there's oh. ball one. One ball and two strikes to count. Third inning here, already 4-2 our score. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the changeup to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Boy, this lineup is so deep, 1-9. through nine, They could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. To the plate now, Jose Martinez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. The 1-0 home hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Nope. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. And here he is in the third inning. Trouble again. He's just not able to find that comfort zone out there. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire 
is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. The three and one pitch. Popped up. Voigt is there, and the side is retired. One left for Tampa, but they still lead this one four to two. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Kiermaier at the track. The wall gone to lead off the inning. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His first homer here in the series as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And this is low, ball two, two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The two-one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. <laughs> Here now the 2-2. Now a swing and a miss and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. So striding forward now, Gio Urshela. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. And he fouls this one off. The 1-2. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One for one after a single his first time up.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. The one-two. Fastball down below the knees. He started this guy backwards. Couple of off-speed pitches early. Followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a high chopper. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. The Yankees claw back a bit thanks to the home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Rays four and the Yankees three. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, Rays manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Not your job. Really? First pitch of the at bat. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. A high fastball is in there. up and the 0-2 pitch and they'll try to tempt him with a curveball but this bounces in front of the plate and it's one and two swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out one of the big advantages to pitching ahead in account if you're a pitcher because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter you have to cover the off speed and the fastball in the one two count you might be sitting off speed and what happens he gets the fastball, and you can't catch up to the express. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. The 1-0. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Now a bunt attempt here. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. Here now is Mike Zanino. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second.
now the 1-0. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Rays, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. D.J. LeMayhew. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Left field and deep. Meadows moving back to the track. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. No hits to this point. The 1 0. Fouled away. We're in the fifth inning of a 4 to 3 ball game here. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now 1 and 2. Plain to see right there that the manager's sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. The one two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So striding in, Torres. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's set. Here it comes. Ball one. Too low. 1-0. Oh. Ball one, no fight. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Runner at second here with one man out. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Rio pitch is taken strike one. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home he is swung on and missed strike three. Not too often you see an at-bat go from 3-0 and to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3-0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Ball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. 
That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. And now it'll kick around in the corner. He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The set and the 1 0. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. Two out here and a runner at second. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Ready with the one two and it's fouled away. And he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning. The Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double on to the bottom of the fifth all even now at four apiece. Ready once again, Brandon Lau. He'll start things out against James Paxton as we get the inning underway. Here's the first pitch to him. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. One away. The batter, the left fielder, off there. Now at the plate, Austin Meadows. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that one is gone. It's a solo home run for Austin Meadows. His first homer so far in the series, as they will take the lead here, it's now a 5-4 ball game. I can tell you one thing, you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Into the box, Yandy Diaz. As the first pitch here's a big high, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch he is taken for strike two. One out, nobody on. Still one and two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes 
in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. G-Man Choi the next to hit. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One for the Rays on the solo home run. Five innings complete, and it's now 5-4 Tampa Bay. Oliver Gray takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 47, Oliver Gray. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Miguel Andujar is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. One ball, no strikes to count. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kiermaier on the run. He's there and records the first down. Now batting left fielder Giancarlo Stanton. Stepping into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. He went down on strikes last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Ready with the 0-1. Ball one. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Nope, inside, ball two. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Ready for another shot now. Gio Urshela, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First offering on its way. Right side. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And the deficit holds at five to four. Jay Happ enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 33. Game. Ah. Digging in once and again, Hunter Renfro. He'll lead things off for Tampa here in the sixth. Hunter Renfro. 
Pro. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one, no fight. You like the modern style of baseball. Here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. In for a strike, it's one and one. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The one two is laid off for ball two. Bounce to first. And that is through into right field for a single. The bat, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Here's the first pitch to him. The wind up and the 0 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Nothing doing for Tampa. They lead it 5 to 4. Chaz Rowe is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 52. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Aaron Judge. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First delivery to him on the way. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Hit high and deep to right center. Renfro moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now that second base, DJ LeMahieu. Into the box now, DJ LeMahieu. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Count even now at one and one.
Here it comes. One and two now. Now here's the pitch. That's ball two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The 2-2. Line toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Yeah, that hard-hit single right there, that's clean. Three for four, he's looking locked in. Right. Riding in, Brett Gardner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First offering on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Meadows is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The batter, the cookbook, labor. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0 1. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1 and 1. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Yankee shortstop behind in the count 1 and 2. Two out with the man at first. Ball two. Three. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Yanks leave one. Still down a run. It's five to four. Last half of the seventh here, and at the and plate will be the speedy the outfielder, right. Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch coming, here Kiermaier. it is. Sent on the ground out to second. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Tyler Wayne is off the bench now as he'll take over at second following the injury. Now playing second base, number 14, Tyler Wayne. Mike Sonino will stand in again, but before he does, let's take you back to the second inning of the ballgame. Maybe the key blow so far, a grand slam that really got things started for him. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. 
Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. Now back, number eight. Ready now, Brandon Lau. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Rays held in check here. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Diego Castillo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Diego Castillo. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. And that's in there, two and one. I got two one to count. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas at short. On to first, and that's an important first out to start the eighth here. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers, and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. First pitch coming, here it is. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. One oh home it is in there for strike one. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And 
and it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. And the deficit holds at 5-4. At the plate, Austin Meadows. One for two in the ballgame thus far. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a change of out for a whole month, so it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. The one two. Inside and a hair low. It's two <laughs> balls and two strikes. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Yandy Diaz waits on deck. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Standing in, Yandy Diaz. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope, at the ball. Ball one, no strike. A runner at first with no outs here. The bouncer to the left side. He's got it. One there. Out. To Voight in time for the double play. Nice now job on the mound to bounce baseball. back from the leadoff walk. Defense Those are score. usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, G-Man Choi, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here it comes. Two out, nobody on. And he lays oh, off for ball one. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to Vort takes care of him, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for Tampa. They lead it five to four. Nick Anderson comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Nick Anderson. Leading off the inning, Giancarlo Stanton, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 
Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Pitch on the way. The count is one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That swing tells me he was really yeah, trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but yeah. that wasn't a great pitch Very to good. do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Stepping in now, Gio Urshela, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0. One-run game here in the top of the ninth. Hit on the ground toward the left. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Hey, now. The right field is a 99. Aaron. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. 0 and 1 the count. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. You go down 0-2 to a guy with this pitch arsenal, you just got to find a way to shorten up and battle, put something in play. A sold-out crowd, 56,000 strong at the start, all up in L.A. Now a drive by Judge, deep left field. Left fielder looking up, and as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! A solo shot here to left as we are all tied at five. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Hey, thanks, Matt. Yeah, you know what? Dodger Stadium has always been known for a very high mound, and pitchers love to pitch in this ballpark. In d -roll, when the sun goes down and that now, marine Matt, layer air comes in, this is a tough yard there. to hit the ball That was going right there, Dan. Day game, this place plays completely different, but to do it at night, that's why it was such an impressive performance today for them to move traffic all over the yard today. Not easy to do. Here's the 1-0. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Rip at the 2-0 sinker, but came up empty at strike one. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Three and one. Brett Gardner would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit well on the ground to first. 
And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Home half of the ninth coming up, all even at five apiece. Digging in to try it again. Hunter Renfro. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Hunter Renfro. First pitch of the at bat. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The wind up and the 0-1. Look out, 21. baseline and he is going to have extra bases to start it out and your winning run will be in scoring position and he's able to hustle his way up the second as he'll reach here with a two base hit as we look again at that double here you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box smashed it down the line and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double Jack Green, a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. And time will be called here, as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. And that is through into left field. The base hit. Throw will come into the infield, and the winning run will stop 90 feet away from home with nobody out. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning. The will lead off double now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up and just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have a damn job. To the plate now, Willie Adamas, as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And he has a great opportunity to win it here. Winning run at third base, nobody out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now a throw over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Now this 
Davis is lined into right center. He comes through. And they will walk off with game one here at home. Man, the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! Heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. Tonight's one-run game comes to an end, 6-5 to five, the final. The Tampa Bay Rays jump out to a 1-0 series lead. Nick Anderson earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays. Six runs, ten hits, no error as they left two men on base. For the Yankees, five runs on nine hits, no error.